Hi, I am Cesar Santos. Are you frustrated sometimes? I get this question a lot. How do we deal with frustrations as an artist? Well, the way I will answer this and the way I normally answer things is by investigating the question itself. What is it that we mean by saying deal with? And what is it that we call frustration? I will start by defining frustration first, since this is the word most important in the sentence. Um, what do we mean by frustration? Is it dissatisfaction? Is it the unfulfilled need to achieve something? Or is it just that things are not going your way? And by deal with, do you mean to take action with respect to frustration? Do you mean that you want to cope with a specific problem? Um, let's attack it this way. Frustration is definitely a feeling that we don't want to have around us. And we think that by dealing with it, we'll remedy the issue at hand. Since frustration comes from not being able to deal with the problem beforehand, uh, it's too late to deal with it now. So let's learn, let's uh, try to build up an infrastructure that will help us uh, as a support to, to deal with those sudden changes, with uh, things that don't go our way, with opposition. And, and that way we'll have a base to be able to confront it and, ha and not having to deal with it later. Here is my first advice. Make sure that you create and you have a clear goal. And this sounds like a common thought, but uh, with a clear goal, you'll be able to visualize the path to get to that specific point. If you don't have a clear goal and you maybe have a vague idea of success and you just envision the reward, the prices after getting there, um, you will encounter more frustration because that's not just the way it works. It's better if you visualize it and just aim at it and know the path to take. My second advice will be to create a personal value. Not only to value yourself, but to actually build up a value that you can offer to others. Without this, without having a personal value, you will encounter two problems. You will either become fakely valued, which means that uh, you know deep inside that you don't have a value to offer, but you pretend in front of others to have that certain value. And that comes across like arrogance. Remember, arrogance is pretty much a big announcement, a fake announcement of how valuable you are. Or you become too fearful of objections because since you don't see the value that you have, you cannot present it to others. In order to, to deal with that is, and build self-confidence is building your value so that way others can work with you because they see the value in working with you. You see, developing your value is the best tool you can have to achieve your goals. For instance, let's say you want to get into a gallery. So I recommend you building up the value so that you can add value to that experience, to that gallery, so that they work with you. So it takes time to do it. But once you are prepared and you uh, present it to them, if you fail, you won't be frustrated because you will be equipped and you will have enough um, opportunity, uh, leverage to be able to present it to other galleries and have other opportunities coming from that value that you have created within yourself. Or let's say that your frustration has nothing to do with the career side, but more of a personal ambition to achieve and, and be able to make a work, a painting, the way you envision it, and you can do that. Instead of getting frustrated, you have to understand that you're just in the process of creating the value. That's why you have to be patient with yourself in building it. Instead of com uh, comparing yourself with others that have created that self-value and are already moving forward, because they're just a step ahead of you, what you have to do is focus on what you need to do to achieve the skills necessary to paint what you envision. Number three, take action. Do you know what the key ingredient is in every meal you can imagine? What is it? To get up and go to the kitchen and start cooking. Act. Having the initiative to start a journey is what gets you up in the morning and start moving. So when night falls, you are a step closer to that goal. Being inactive 
and passive is what gets you frustrated. If you think about it, animals are never frustrated. Why? Because they're always on the move, always looking for new opportunities. Let's wrap this video up. If you find yourself frustrated and the clouds are turning gray, get a clear blue sky color and paint it away.